So last night I went to use my Camp Lux on-demand water heater with my little like, redneck hot tub that I made. <clears throat> I was really looking forward to it. Got it all set up, put some water to it, and water went everywhere. So it turns out that all the water doesn't actually drain out of these things when you're finished with them. It was apparently water stuck in one of the, the coils in there and it burst from the cold. So I'm going to try to fix it. So here's the Camp Lux on my little portable system that I made. This thing actually works great if, well, you know, until you blow the lines out of it from the cold. But, um, you know, the cover just comes off. There's like, I think it's like just six little screws all the way around. The cover comes off. Pull the knobs, pull straight off too. This is what it looks like inside. And as far as I can tell, I mean, there might be damage inside the core too. I'm not really sure. I have no way to see inside there. And I couldn't really tell where the uh, water was bursting out of beyond the obvious part right there. Come around the side, get out of that shadow here in the sun. So you can see right there. At least it's easy to get to. And I'm hoping that that's the only um, part that's damaged. If it's not, then I'll have to replace it because I can't really get to anything else. But I figured it would be worth a shot to uh, try to braise this up. It's already broken. What can go wrong? The tools for this job are going to be a Dremel to clean the surface. It has to be very clean before you can even do anything with the uh, surface of the pipe. A little baby hammer. love this little thing. I use it for a lot of different things. <clears throat> propane torch. This isn't map gas or the hotter propane, which I guess isn't even map gas, but it's a hotter burning propane. This is just the plain stuff, so I'm hoping I can get it hot enough. I have three different types of uh, brazing rods that I found in my welding stash. Um, I'm going to try this first. This stuff is um, it's called a Luma Weld. So I'm hoping that this will repair the, the hole the best. So since we're going to be playing with fire, the very first thing is to take that and take it away. That's got to go. And make sure the line is completely purged. So I'm going to heat this up just a little bit with the torch and I'm going to tap that back into place. I'm going to heat it up just because I don't I don't know if it's brittle. I don't really know a lot about this. So um, I don't want to, basically I don't want to make it worse. Pretty sure it's just aluminum. It doesn't help that it's about 30 degrees out either. That looks pretty good. Closed up pretty nice. So I'll take the Dremel tool with the uh, little wire brush on it and get after this, clean up the whole area, and then we'll heat it up and try to use that Aluma weld on it and see where, where we get with that. nice and clean. Now I'm going to get after it with the torch. And the idea with this Aluma rod stuff, or Aluma weld, whatever, is to heat your surface, but not the rod. So you know your surface is hot enough when the rod starts liquefying as you touch it. So that's the idea. We'll, we'll see if, it, if I can get it to do it.
ugly. I'm starting to get worried about melting the rest of this. That's pretty terrible looking, but uh, if that's the only leak in this, I think it might be all right. Our repair. A lot of heat comes out of the top here. So, I don't know. <laughs> we'll give it a shot. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. See, it's steaming. Here's our repair. Good lord, I think it held. Well, there you go. We turn trash into treasure. If I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.